Kaboom! 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 Real Civil War time. Welcome, y'all. It's so good to have each one of you out here. This is really, well, this whole day has been a historic day. This is a unique gun, as many of us have been talking about. It was produced here in Rome, Georgia, in May of 1862. It's named after Miss Annie Lee, the daughter of Robert E. Lee, who died in October of 1862. The gun is unique in many respects. Uh, it is a three-inch ordnance rifle made out of bronze. That type of weapon was not practical. It was an attempt on the part of the Confederacy to catch up to the Federal Ordnance Department in numbers of weapons. The Federal Ordnance Department could produce their ordnance rifle in steel by the thousands, and we couldn't do that. So the Noble Brothers, among other foundries, produced several of these bronze three-inch rifles. Um, the difficulty with the bronze rifle is once you fire more than 200 projectiles, uh, the grooves are worn off and it becomes a smooth bore. The big difference between a smooth bore and a rifle gun essentially is range and accuracy. This gun could accurately hit a person at a mile and a half. A smooth bore gun would have difficulty hitting that person at 600 yards. At that time, in, in, for the war effort, the churches here in Rome donated their bells to be melted down and turned into cannon for the war effort. So the bells from the First Methodist Church, St. Peter's Church, may be in that cannon. I don't know. This cannon or another thing? It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Boys and toys, but it's a whole lot of fun. It is, but that's, you know, it's an accident of birth. I it, enjoy having the uh, structure of, of that to look at history, but it, it's their history, and, and it's everyone's history. It's the history of Rome. It's not just my personal history. The city of Williamston, South Carolina, purchased it from the Rock Island Arsenal for $23.50 in the 40s. It was mounted for a number of years in the park, then the value of the gun was identified and it was taken off of its pedestal, stored, and about five years ago the city spent a good bit of money to mount it on a carriage to produce a limber and to provide us with a trailer. It's rare and we're privileged to be here at the invitation of the city of Rome and we're proud to have an opportunity to show you your gun.